Chief Justice of India. Well, uh, the latest bit of breaking news that we are getting in, he slammed the Modi government. Now, the Chief Justice of India has slammed the Modi government over former Solicitor General Gopal Subramaniam's appointment row. The Chief Justice uh, R.M. Lodha has said that the government segregated Subramaniam's file without informing the Collegium unilaterally. He further says the development was a shock to him. Importantly, he goes on to say that he will not hold his office if independence of judiciary has to be compromised. I would like to cut across at this point of time our National Affairs Editor, Javed Ansari, uh, joining us uh, at this juncture ja from the newsroom at this point of time. Uh, Javed, can you get us up to speed with the latest breaking news? The, the observations of the Chief Justice of India came at a farewell that was organized for one of the outgoing justices and where he referred to the fact to the Gopal Subramaniam controversy. If you remember, Gopal Subramaniam's name was, uh, was put up for consideration as a judge of the Supreme Court along with four others. However, the government objected. Mr. Gopal Subramaniam then uh, wrote a letter to the Chief Justice of India requesting him to allow him to withdraw his, his candidature uh, for, for judgeship of the Supreme Court. This has stirred a hornet's nest and today uh, Gopal Subramaniam in his interview to me was extremely critical of the judiciary saying that you know his his colleagues did not stand by him. Today the Chief Justice mm -hmm. of India has sought to allay that he said he will not compromise on right. the on the independence of the judiciary even for a minute he will not hold office even for a minute the moment he realizes you know he, Javed can, can you just hold on to that thought our executive editor Javed Ansari giving us the very latest I'd also like to cut across to Jaskirat Singh who has more information uh, for us at this point of time on what exactly Chief Justice of India Mr. R.M. Loda has said uh, Jaskirat it's over to you can you quickly give us the update well, absolutely this is actually a occasion of Justice Bia Chauhan's uh, farewell but it, seems it is also the first public occasion where the Chief Justice of India could perhaps have an opportunity to put his side of this entire saga of uh, Gopal Subramaniam's withdrawal to be considered as a judge. And over here, it is, uh, we report, uh, this is where the Chief Justice of India actually expressed disappointments on two counts. First, on the count that uh, Gopal Subramaniam could not wait for him to come back from abroad uh, before actually releasing the contents of the letter. And the second was, of course, with regard to the government uh, uh, removing it, actually the file with regards to Gopal Subramaniam uh, without the information or without informing the uh, collegium. Uh, this mm -hmm. is something that the Chief Justice of India says that he was, uh, came as a sort of a setback or a shock to him. So this is uh, clearly uh, going to, uh, uh, to lay bare mm -hmm. what exactly is the saga behind the Subramaniam episode with regards to the collegium and getting him approved as a judge okay. of the Supreme Court. You know, hold on to that thought, uh, just Kirat, coming right back to you. Uh, we've joined at this point of time by legal luminary Mr. K.T. Tulsi. Before I go to him, I want to quote what the Chief Justice of India has said. He said, and I quote, the segregation was unilaterally done by the executive without my knowledge and consent. I am shocked. Now, these are harsh words. Uh, Mr. K.T. Tulsi, what do you make of them? Yes, I entirely agree with the Chief Justice that if the uh, segregation is done without the knowledge and consent of the Chief Justice of India and without giving an opportunity to consider the matter afresh in the Collegium, this would be wrong. This is uh, uh, the executive is uh, presenting a fait accompli to the Supreme Court. So uh, I think that uh, before the segregation of the file, the Chief Justice ought to have been consulted and also the uh, Chief Justice, if he desired, had to be given an opportunity to reconsider the matter in the Collegium. And uh, the, the executive may have uh, overreached the court with regard to the existing policy of uh, appointment of judges in the Supreme Court. Mr. KTS Tulsi, uh, legally, has the executive overreached? Yes, I think by it's overreached in the sense that they have presented a fait accompli. After the file has been segregated, it is directly sent to the president without the knowledge of the, of the chief justice who heads the collegium. And the chief justice might have desired to take it back to the collegium for mm -hmm. deciding as to whether the file should be segregated or not. So th this, uh, this comes as a shock to all of us that the segregation was done without the knowledge and consent of the Chief Justice and he was not given an opportunity to express his view on, on the reservations which may have had been there before the, before, before the government. And the government at that time could place those reservations before the Chief Justice 
and right. then taken the decision and sent the file on. Appreciate you joining us, uh, Mr. Tulsi, at this uh, point of time. Uh, thank you, the KTS Tulsi senior lawyer, giving us perspective on uh, what uh, has taken place. Grave charges made by the Chief Justice of India. We're going to continue with that story. Do stay with us. Uh, getting our viewers a quick recap of the latest breaking news. The Chief Justice of India has slammed the Modi government over former Solicitor General Gopal Subramanian's appointment row. The Chief Justice R.M. Loda has said that the government segregated Subramanian's file without informing the Collegium unilaterally. He further says the development was a shock to him. Importantly, he goes on to say that he will not hold his office if independence and judiciary has to be compromised. Well, that is the latest bit of breaking news that we are getting for our viewers at this point of time. Grave charges levelled by the Chief Justice of India at the doorstep of the Modi government.